Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to program Rush's vital signs into a sequencer and for that I'm going to use FM8 by Native Instruments. It's a software synth and it has a sequencer in it and I'm going to assume that you're not uh, very familiar with sequencers or arpeggiators. Uh, I'm certainly not and I, I looked everywhere to figure out how to do uh, vital signs and I couldn't find a, a bloody thing so I decided to do this video. Uh, we open up the program and you know the first thing we have to do is find a sound that matches that, uh, that real analog pulsy kind of a, a sound that they have on vital signs and here's uh, where we're going to be able to choose our banks and we uh, have a whole bunch of sounds that we can try but we have to find one that matches and so uh, after a lot of experimentation I chose one that for some reason they call expensive butter so let me pull that up here and this sound is actually doesn't really reflect what the uh, what it sounds like in the song. So here's here's what this patch sounds like. But once we get it into the arpeggiator and start manipulating it a little bit, it's going to sound quite a bit like the song. So uh, I'm going to move the screen over just a hair, and we're going to go into our arpeggiator. And in here, I don't know, regardless of what you're using for a, a sequencer or an arpeggiator, they should all have similar functions. And so uh, this row, the first row that we see here that we're going to work on, it is the notes that are on. And we are have, uh, by default, eight notes that we can play with. But Vital Signs, that sequence is a 16-bit, or 16-note sequence. And so we're going to drag that all the way up to 16. And of course we want every note on. We don't want to leave any of these off. Uh, tying, we do not have to do in this song. Um, and the accents, uh, you know, we can either leave them all on or leave them all off. But it's certainly going to sound funny if, uh, if, if the first one or any of them is accented more than the others. Everything's pretty s straight through the uh, song. The note order, we definitely don't want to change. Uh, the notes are static. And so they're going to stay as they are. And the octaves for this, is are they're going to stay as they are as well. Uh, so you have 12 notes in an octave, and actually uh, with the minus 11 that you get and plus 11 that you get, uh, you get quite a range of notes. So we're w within that range here, so we're not going to change that at all. And the, the song starts out with a, a note that's C, and each note goes for two beats. So because we're going to hit the C note, and if you don't know where that is, you're going to have to look that up, but uh, we're going to leave the first two beats as C, and so we're not going to transpose them at all. The second note is a G, lower than C, and so we're going to go to negative 5 for that. And I guess you have to understand a little bit about music theory to kind of get this, but uh, I guess you can look that up too, or just for the purposes of getting vital sign programmed. Uh, just follow along and, and punch these into your sequencer. The third note is an E flat, and that ends up being negative 9. The fourth note is again a G at negative 5. And now beat 9, we go to A flat, which is negative 4, and negative 4 for the second beat. Ah, come back. There we go. Then we go to E flat, which is negative 9, to B flat, which is negative 2 for two beats. And our last note is A flat, which is negative 4. And there we have it. We should have all the notes programmed now in to this sequencer. And well, when we play it, hopefully it's going to sound a little bit like the song. So let me turn it on. And I'm going to play it, and we'll see what it sounds like. Not bad. Uh, it, there's some other options here that you may or may not have on your sequencer. Uh, the key sync is, uh, it, it'll play when you first hit the key. Um, I, I wouldn't worry about any of any of these. The, it does, uh, uh, the whole, the, the, the sequence does change during the song. It goes away, so we don't want that. Uh, shuffle we definitely don't want. We don't want dotted or triplets, but the note length we're going to try to adjust here. And uh, So let me play it again. Let's bring that note length down. And that's 
gets us a lot closer to the pulsy feel of the song. So uh, that that should be it. We're we're pretty much done. That should get close enough to the song to uh, be useful. I'm gonna play it one more time and we're done. <laughs> 